can't hear you. I'm audible right now. Yes, right now. Okay, I'm clear. Okay, so small network issue. Okay, now, so now we have seen accounting for right, which is now uh, we'll see the next important one. So now this range I'll convert into <coughs> short dip. Can anyone tell me why the number is converting it to a day for me? Monojit? Yes, that is the system date. The sort date is selected as for the system date. So by default in Microsoft, our date will be starting from 1, 1, 1900. So because of that, the first number will be 1, 1, 1900. So this is a common thing. Whenever you are dealing with multiple data sources, whenever you are importing data from other sources, you will be seeing a date column, column name as date, but below that you will be seeing all the numbers. So at that time you should not feel like these are numbers or this is a cost, this is a sales column. That is a date format, which is in another format. When you select that range and change it to short date, automatically you will get the actual date. Okay, in Excel, a number can be converted to a date and a date can be converted to a number. Guys, clear? So that means second day from 1900, fifth day from 1900, 10th day from 1900. If I, if I enter 100, I'll get 100th day from 1900. Thousandth day from 1900. 10,000th day from 1900. Similarly, for today also there will be a number, right? Starting from 1900. This, if you convert to a number, So from 1900 till today, we are done with 44,721 days. I'm clear? Hello? Yes. I am clear or you have any questions here? So by default in Excel, the date will pick from 1900. So any number can be converted to a date column and any date can be converted to a number column. So how it will pick the exact date for that number? It is from 1900. First day from 1900, second day from 1900. So for today's date also there will be, be a number. That number is 44,721th day. Okay. So this will help you whenever you are exporting or importing data from other sources to Excel. When the data is in text format, when you download or when you import to Excel, you can see the column name as date, but you will not see the date. You will find numbers. So at that time, what you have to do, you have to select the range and you have to convert it to a short date for me. then you'll get the actual date of the particular raw data. Okay. And number represents day. Decimal represents time of that particular day. Number represents what? 
day. Decimal represents time of the day. 0 0.00. Okay, see here, I'll change this numbers to time format. Forty-four thousand seven twenty-one point zero zero. My day will start at midnight four. Okay, from that, if I add six hours, that means total day will be six a.m. Okay, half a day, point five. Can I hear you? Hello, now? Yes. Okay, so number represents day and decimal represents time. Okay, 44,721.00. My day will start at 12 a.m. That means zero, zero hours. This one. 0.25 means quarter day. If I add six hours for this above number, I'll get quarter day. Means 0.25. Quarter day means 6 a.m. early in the morning. 0.5 means half a day. 12 p.m. 0.75. Evening 6 p.m. If I add one more number, 25.25. 44,722. That means next day will Okay. If I add 0.25 for this number, I'll be getting next day 12 a.m. So this is how Excel calculates days and time. Got it or any question? Any questions online? Able to hear me? No, sir. Yes. Okay, cool, right? A number can be converted to a day. A number, how the days are calculated, how the time is calculating with the number. So, this is how Excel will calculate your day and time. Okay. Number. Number can be time, day, okay. So what is the next format we have? Percentage. Can anyone tell me when you'll take percentage? Harry, help me with this here. When you'll take percentage, okay. What is the shortcut key to get the sum of that row? Sum of row. Alt plus. Alt plus equal to. Enter. Control D or Alt H F I D. Control D. Copy it down. Alt H B A. All borders. So when you will take percentages, what is the total marks for six subjects? 600. Is equal to. This value divided by 600 select this range if you change it to percentage this percentage you will be getting with two decimals but if you select this percentage alt h p the number will be rounded. Okay. Alt H P. The number will be rounded. Alt H N. If you select this percentage, you'll be getting decimal percentage. Okay. 
so percentage when you will be taking the percentage when you have a target value if you get any achieved value achieved value divided by target value then only you can take the percentage of the target value simply you will not take the percentage am i right monojit yes okay if you have target value then only you can you know make a percentage achieved value by target value this is about percentage and i have not used any fractions if i put 0.5 if you want to convert this number to fraction all h n 1 by 2 that okay and if you want to increase more decimals you can use alt h 9 to increase the decimal decrease the decimal alt h 9 decrease alt h 0 increase alt h 0 increase this is increase and this is decrease okay increase and decrease percentage according to formula and all the formats we have seen next what is this comma style what it is what what is the use of that using numbers thousandth separator okay till now whatever i have discussed you have any question Oh, on my side. I think we got things is clear. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for today. Yeah. Tomorrow we continue. So few people will be adding to this group. Okay, don't mind. Sorry. But few people will be adding to this group. but okay. class will be continuing okay no issue okay no issues from anyone whatever the session which got recorded so at the background session got recorded this is a recording video i'll be sharing today because of network issue recording was in two parts okay so close this again this will be recorded this two recording sessions i will be sharing with you guys i think yesterday session was shared with you group online that is uh, on whatsapp link okay i'll make sure tomorrow morning or now you'll be getting this link tomorrow please go through and practice i request is only to practice hmm? okay sir yes you already got the youtube link in your group okay open that if you are not able to open i think you can open from your mobile why because your email id will be synced to that if you are opening in your desktop you have to log into youtube with your mail id so here we are giving access to your mail ids okay if it's in your mobile phone so automatically you can open that link and you can go through okay this two recording sessions will be shared tonight and you will be getting tomorrow morning okay she will the admin people will be taking care of that okay they will be sharing with you tomorrow will continue the session okay bye see you guys bye good night